E. I'm gonna edit that joint up. Yeah. Yo, what's good? What's the deal, XX family, man? Um. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Listen, bro. Right here, we have a live reaction to whatever video this is that Always Marco just put out. Right? Um, I just spoke to dude about a week ago. Right? Um, he said he was coming out with the, the third video. Um, you know that was supposed to shut everything down man um but from the title of this video it does not seem to be the video we're looking for so without further ado man let's just jump into it like i said this is a live reaction i haven't watched this video yet yes i did screen record it but i was not watching it um so yeah let's go ahead and and and, and see what what he's talking about and pyramid schemes. Recently, oh, you may on, have noticed on, that I've been. Hold on. Hold on. All right, the last two years, I've been using my YouTube channel for what I would describe as investigative journalism on multi level marketing companies and pyramid schemes. Recently, you may have noticed that I've been quiet, and there's a good reason for this. Those who are not fans of my attempts to spread awareness about what is, in my opinion, a very harmful and dangerous industry have taken action against me to silence me, which I am now being forced to defend against. Defending against this action has cost me $10,000 of my own money in the last month. This is not oh. money that I just had laying around ready to blow. This is money that I've been saving for a considerable amount of time with the hopes of using it to pay off my car. And even more unfortunate than those plans being put on hold, I'm not allowed to tell you who is taking action against me. I'm not allowed to tell you what the specific nature of the action being taken against me is. And I'm not even allowed to tell you why I'm not allowed to tell you who's taking action against me or- Damn, Marco. They really silenced you, bro. That's crazy. They really got my guy on hush mode. That's wild, bro. That's tough. What? On top of this action that's been taken against me, there have been countless attempts at getting my Instagram accounts hacked or deleted. At the time of this recording, my Instagram Y'all ignored Telegram, temporarily please. disabled a total of 13 times in the last month. This indicates to me a real effect being caused by videos like mine and the subsequent movement on social media from you guys and you guys responding in the amazing way that you have, which is why purported members of the industry are now taking this action against me to try and silence me and scare me. What I can tell you is that I have absolutely no plans of backing down from this action that's been taken against me, but I'm going to need the support of the entire anti-MLM community. Today I'm asking- That's what I'm talking about, my nigga. Let these clowns stop you, bruh. Hell, man, these niggas is jokes, bro. You feel me? I don't know who you talk. I'm assuming the recent company you've been clowning, fucking IML, bro. But come on, bro. These niggas are jokes. For your support to help you, me bro. in my mission to get stricter regulations placed on the entire MLM industry. Specifically, Hello, I'm let's asking. Run that back. I'm going to need the support of the entire anti-MLM community. Today I'm asking for your support to help me in my mission to get stricter regulations placed on the entire MLM industry. Specifically, I'm asking you to consider doing one of two things. The first is supporting me financially through this GoFundMe that I started. I want you to know that I have no intention of profiting from this GoFundMe. Any money that isn't used to defend against this- Oh no, Marco. No, it sound a little pyramidy to me. Little pyramidy. Will be used to continue my mission of making videos and spreading awareness about harmful MLM companies and pyramid schemes. I have 53,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel and over 16,000 followers on Instagram. If even half that amount of people contributed $1 to this GoFundMe, I'm confident that that would be enough to beat this thing. If it's not within your capability to support me financially, the other thing that I would ask you to consider doing is just sharing this video. No matter how big or small- Marco, you got YouTube money, man. Stop playing with us. 
That boy got a million views. Stop playing with us, bro. Platform is your voice matters in this situation because your post or your share might get the eyeballs on it that it needs to help push this GoFundMe over the finish line. And believe me when I say the FTC is watching. The FTC issued this statement. As part of the Federal Trade Commission's systematic review of all current FTC rules and guidelines, the commission announces a revised 10-year regulatory review schedule and scheduled initiation of the review of the business opportunity rule. FTC Commissioner Rohit Chopra issued a statement where he specifically mentions MLMs and basically says they need to stop being able to evade adhering to the business opportunity rule. And I couldn't agree more. I'm going to link to that full statement in the description if you want to go read it. I believe that we're at a point in human history where we are on the precipice of seeing tighter restrictions being placed on the MLM industry or the MLM industry being abolished completely and forever. Over the past two years, I have heard enough stories from people whose lives have been negatively affected by the MLM industry to know that I'm doing the right thing and to know that I would be doing the wrong thing to try and back down or shy away from something like this. The MLM industry has been allowed to slide for so long and has made a joke of the FTC in the process because they thought they were untouchable. But I believe this is soon going to change. The statistics have shown since the beginning of time with Without exception, that 99% of people who join MLMs lose money. Remember, just because something is legal doesn't mean it's right. In just the past decade alone, I have seen gay marriage and marijuana become legalized. And for decades, this idea was probably impossible. And there was surely people who would say to me, Marco, it's always been this way. This is how it is. And there's a reason for that. And they were wrong. This works both ways. MLMs have been legal for decades, and it doesn't mean that they should have been. Alcohol and cigarettes are still legal, and they're not helping anyone. Slavery was legal. We, I want to thank every anti-MLM creator who's been brave enough to stand up to this industry over the past few years. These voices are so important because for decades, people just had to take whatever information the MLM industry published and swallow it as the truth because we didn't have social media and we didn't have people actually putting their neck on the line publishing the information about what really goes on in these companies. People would join an MLM, lose all their money, and then feel shame and blame themselves because they had a broke mindset or whatever their upline told them. Nowadays, when someone gets screwed over by a scam or a pyramid scheme, they don't just go, oh, well, too bad, I guess I'll just turn the chapter and move on with my life. No, a lot of times people are understandably pissed and they wanna make sure it doesn't happen to anybody else. Hence why we have such a strong anti-MLM movement on the internet today. I lost my best friend from high school because after we graduated, he joined an MLM and wasn't able to see past the brainwashing that they had instilled in him. So when I said to him, hey man, I think this is a pyramid scheme and I don't want to see you get hurt, he lashed out at me and we're still not friends to this day because of it. I want to thank you guys in advance yeah, for supporting this GoFundMe and thank you to anyone in. who supported this channel and helped me get it to where it's at. I promise that as soon as I'm able to tell you the specific on this situation, I will. And I can also promise that the sooner we complete this GoFundMe goal, the sooner I'll be able to beat this thing and tell you all about it. I'm gonna drop the links to the GoFundMe and my Patreon in the description. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. The fight is not over. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Damn, bro. Damn, Marco. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, I, I think you've done a great job at what you're doing. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure why they took legal matter against you. Or, or even what, like, you're not saying very much. Or even who's doing it. But, um, <clears throat> that's tough, bro. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. That wasn't the, the video I was expecting from you, my guy. Like, but I'm glad you're, you're going to keep fighting. You feel me? And just do your thing, bro. You feel me? I don't, I don't have too much more to say about it. Just don't let them win, bro. We, we, we counting on you, my guy. But, yeah, that's it, y'all. Um, I don't know. I thought it would have been, been some more stuff in there, but I guess not. But 
Uh, that's it for this reaction, man. Marco. We praying for you, bro. Pray for Marco. Hashtag pray for Marco in the comments, man. And I'm going to catch y'all in another one.